Hello students you are warmly welcome to my youtube channel education wmh in this video i am going to discuss grade 6 mathematics third term test paper for the upcoming term test i invite you to subscribe my channel and watch more videos question number 1 a part identify and write the type of angles given in numbers in the following diagram there are numbers from 1 to 6 1 2 3 then 4 uh, 5 6 then uh, number 1 that is a right angle right angle then next one number 2 an obtuse angle obtuse angle then number 3 an acute angle then number 4 4 is also an obtuse angle then number 5 straight angle then number 6 last one reflex angle so these are the types of angles then b part indicate the following information on a diagram mark the north by drawing an arrow on the right side uh, so we are given this one right side of the paper first one instruction the main office is located in the middle of the school premises so we have to uh, draw the diagram of main office main office here then i will indicate the north direction in this direction then uh, the main gate is located on the north of the main office so this should be the main gate this is the gate then third one the cafeteria is located on the north east of the main office north east means this direction so here is the cafeteria i'll write it as cafe then uh, number 4 the laboratory is located on the south of the cafeteria and on the east of the main office east of the main office and south of the cafeteria here this is the lab laboratory then number 5 the parking space is located on the north west of the main office north west means this direction here is the parking space parking space then next number 6 the classrooms are located on the south west of the laboratory south west is here then on the south of the main office here classrooms then number 7 the library is located on the east of the classrooms here should be the library library then uh, number 8 the playground is located on the north west of the classrooms north uh, west of the classrooms and west of the main office uh, north uh, north west from the classroom north west means this direction and west of the main office so playground should be in this place playground then uh, number 10 last one the computer unit is located on the south west of the main office south west in this direction here is the computer room unit
second question uh, we are given these uh, numbers uh, then uh, fractions and decimals inside the circle based on the above fractions and decimals within the circle write a part first question and unit fraction the unit fraction there are two unit fractions here 1 over 2 and then 1 over 4 then second question an equivalent fraction to 2 over 7 equivalent fractions if you multiply both numerator and denominator of uh, 2 over 7 you get 4 over 14 so it is inside the circle then uh, number 3 Number 3, we are given this one. Write 5 over 4 as a decimal number. 5 over, 5 over 10. 5 over 10 as a decimal number. That is equal to 0 0.5. Then number 4. Express the decimal numbers within the circle using uh, greater than sign. The decimal numbers here are 1.5 and 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. 0, 3. The largest one here is 1.5. So 1.5 greater than uh, 0 0.5 greater than 0 0.03. This is the way we are writing that. Then uh, B part. Find the value of 1 over 12 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3. We have to take the common denominator in these uh, denominators. The denominators are 12, 6 and 3. We can take 12 as the common denominator. So the first fraction remains unchanged. And the second fraction should be multiplied by 2. Then the third one by 4. Then we get 1 over 12 plus then 2 over 12 plus 4 over 12. Now we can add the 3 numerators. So the answer is 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. 7 over 12. Question number 3. Simplify. Then A part. We are given this first question. 98 multiplying by 47. Uh, we have to write this separately and multiply this one. I will write it here. 98 multiplying by 47. Uh, 7 times 8 is 56. Then uh, 5 is remaining. So, uh, 7 times 9 is 63. 63 plus 5 is 68. Then uh, 4 times 8 is 32, 3 is remaining, 4 times 9 is 36, 36 plus 3 is 39. Now we have to add this, 6, 8 plus 2, uh, 10, then 1 remaining, uh, 10 plus 6 is 16, then 1 goes to the other side. So the answer is 4606. Then uh, second part. I will write it here. 3765 divided by 15. 15 times 2. 15 times 2 is 30. Then the remaining is 7. Take this 6 here. 15 times 5, 75. Then remaining is 1. Then take this 5 here. Then 15 times 1 is 50 remaining 0. So the answer is 251. Then in B part, first question, minutes, seconds. Minutes, seconds. We have to take this addition. 8 minutes, 47 seconds. Then 3 minutes, 56 seconds. We have to add these uh, 2 times. Here, 7 plus uh, 6, 13, then 1 remaining, 
then the addition here is 100 but we can't keep this value here we have to take 60 seconds as 1 minute into the minute size then here the remaining is 43 then here the addition 12 12 minutes 43 seconds is the answer then second question um, hours and minutes hours minutes 10 hours 21 minutes subtract 3 hours 47 minutes uh, we can't subtract 47 from 21 we have to take 1 hour to the minute size uh, so it becomes 1 hour equal to 60 minutes then the addition is 81 now then the remaining here is 9 now 81 minus 47 um, 11 uh, minus 7 is 4 here 7 7 minus 4 3 34 minutes then 9 minus 3 is 6 so this is the answer 6 hours 34 minutes then C part convert 120 hours into days 120 hours we know that 24 hours equal to one day so we have to divide this by 24 um, 24 times 5 is 120 so this is equal to 5 days Question number 4, we are given this triangle, then A part, first question, find the perimeter of the given diagram in centimeters and millimeters, addition, centimeters, millimeters, the lengths are 13 centimeter, then 3 millimeter, then 8 centimeter, 5 millimeter then 9 centimeter 9 millimeter we have to add these three lengths uh, 5 plus 3 8 9 plus 8 is 17 then we have to take uh, 10 millimeters to the centimeter side as 1 centimeter because 1 centimeter equal to 10 millimeters then the addition 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 8 18 18 plus 3 is 21. Then 2 plus 1, 3. 31 centimeters, 7 millimeters is the answer. Second part, second question. Express the answer you got only in millimeters. If you convert this uh, 31 centimeters into millimeters, you get 310. Then here 7 centimeter. Addition is 317 millimeters 7 millimeters um, then uh, b part a flower bed is in the shape of a rectangle its length is 15 meters 35 centimeters while its breadth is 8 meters 90 centimeters i'll uh, represent this in given information in a diagram this is our flower bed then uh, breadth is 8 meter 90 centimeters then the length is given as uh, 15 meters 35 centimeters so first part by how much the length is greater than the breadth we have to take the difference between length and breadth first part meters centimeters 15 meters 35 centimeters subtract 8 meters 90 centimeters uh, we have we can't uh, subtract 90 from 35 so uh, take 1 meter to this side then it becomes 135 here 135 here the remaining is 14 now um, 5 plus 
5 minus 0 is 0, 13 minus 9 is 4, 40 centimeters. Here uh, the remaining is 5, oh, sorry, 45 centimeters. Then 14 minus 8 is 6. So 6 meter 45 centimeters is the answer for the first part. Then second part, express the above answer only in centimeters. I will write it here. Uh, to convert to centimeters, 6 meters equal to 600 centimeters. Then 600 plus 45 is 645 centimeters. Then C part. The length of a rectangular playground is 28 meters and its perimeter is 100 meters. Find the breadth of the playground. If the perimeter is 100 uh, meters, then half of it is equal to the sum of length and breadth. So, if I take the breadth as B, then breadth plus length is 28. The addition is equal to 50 meters. So, B equals 50 minus 25. 28. So the difference is 22, 22 meters. Question number 5, A part, using the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. First part, first question, write all the even numbers. What are the even numbers here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Then second question. Write all the odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Then third question. Write all the prime numbers. Prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7. Then fourth part. Write all the composite numbers. Composite numbers. 1, 2, 3. 1 is not a prime or composite. Then 2, 3 are prime. Then 4. 4 is a composite number. Then uh, next one 6. Then 8, 9 and 10. Then fifth question. Write all the triangular numbers. Triangular numbers here are 1, then 3, 6, and 10. Then number 6, write all the square numbers. 1, 4, and 9. Then B part, which triangular number is 36 in the triangular numbers? Um, in the triangular number pattern, uh, the general formula is n times n plus 1 divide by 3 divided by 2 or uh, then um, we can write this 36 as 8 multiplied by 9 divided by 2 72 divided by 2 is 36 this is equal to 36 because of that this is the 8 triangular number Or you can add the numbers from 1 to 8 and take the sum as 36. Question number 6. The following table indicates the attendance by students in a certain class of uh, Vidya Vidyale. The more transport than the number of students. Uh, we are given the table like this. Then first question. Indicate the above information on a picture graph. Uh, I will take the symbol circle and represent the symbol. Uh, two students are represented by the uh, symbol circle. Then I can draw uh, the picture graph like this. By bus. Then bus, van. Then what are the other modes? Foot. Then 
personal vehicles then bicycle then if uh, one circle represents two students then bus we have 14 students then i have to uh, draw seven circles here then next one van 12 students then six circles then drawing symbols you have to Draw the circles uh, one below the other like this in a pattern. Then uh, on foot uh, eight. Four circles. Then next one. Personal vehicles six. Three circles. Then next by bicycle five. Two and half. Two represents four students. Another half, semicircle. Half of the circle. Then second question, what is the mode of transport used by most number of students? Bus. Uh, in this uh, mode we have 14 students, that is the greatest value. Then number 3, find the total number of students. If you take the addition, 14 plus 12 plus 8 plus 6 plus 5, the addition is... 45. So 45 total number of students are there. Number 4. Express the number of students coming by vans as a fraction of the total number of students. Coming by van, the fraction uh, now students are number of students are 12. So 12 plus total is 45. You can simplify this by dividing by 3. 3 times 4, then 3 times 15. So the simplest answer is 4 over 15. Question number 7. A part. Separate the following item into two groups by using a common feature. Uh, we can take the feature. Uh, for what? The, uh, the, uh, each uh, item is using. The use of the items. Then I can take these categories. Stationaries. Stationaries. Then the other uh, feature is musical instruments. Then I can separate like this. Book. Book is a stationary item. Then pen. Pen is also here. Then uh, guitar. Guitar comes for this one. Musical instrument. Then color. Color comes here. Then violin comes here. Then uh, next one. Pastel box. Then next pencil. Then flute. Flute comes here. Then tabla. So this is the way we are separating that. Then in B part we are given this diagram. First question. What is the object you can make from the above sketch? A regular tetrahedron. Regular tetrahedron. Then second part. 
write the number of edges vertices vertices and faces of it edges how many edges are there uh, if i count six edges then vertices four vertices and faces are also four then c part first question find the value of 3 to the power 2 into 2 to the power 3 if i uh, expand this one 3 to the power 2 3 multiplied by 3 then 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 here 9 and 8 9 into 8 the answer is 72 then second part what is the largest number out of 2 to the power 3 and 3 to the power 2? 2 to the power 3. We get 8 here. 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. Then 3 to the power 2. That is 9. 3 into 3. So the largest one out of this is 3 to the power 2. Largest one 3 to the power 2.